as far as drills go, the noise is moderate. Mm -hmm. It wasn't really noticeable. It has some really good features and some, in my opinion, not so good features. Hey, what's happening? Barnaby here. So you want to know more about the fine BOP-10 drill driver? Well, I can tell you it's got a half-inch keyless chuck. It's capable up to 1,500 RPMs, and it comes with a 15-foot-long cord. And what we'd like to do is put the tools into the hands of real people to find out how they perform in the field. And for that, David Winnick, you're it. So what, uh, what's your business all about? Uh, I build custom uh, Airstream trailers. Really? How'd you get into that? Um, out of a hobby. Really? Yeah. And now it's your profession. It is. I also designed the Airstream 75th anniversary trailer, and after that, I started building custom trailers. Okay. So let's talk about the drill. What did you use it for? I use it for some, uh, with a hole saw through the floor of a trailer to route some uh, conduit, and uh, I ran some screws with it. I, I, I wanted to see how powerful it was uh, using a hole saw, because that puts a lot of uh, uh, stress on a motor. Sure. How'd it do? Oh, it's fine. It's a, it's a very powerful drill. Um, it has some really good features and some, in my opinion, not so good features. Okay, let's click them off. What okay. do you like about it? Well, first of all, it's got a really good motor. Mm -hmm. It's got a very powerful motor and in, in gearbox in it. But the disadvantage of that is most of the weight's in the front of the tool. Mm -hmm. So if you're using this tool with one hand, after a while you're going to get a little fatigued. Okay. But if you're using the handle, you're good to go all day. It's a really good ergonomic tool, plus it's a lot narrower than most half-inch drills. Mm -hmm. So you can get this in a tight spot where a normal, uh, a regular half-inch drill won't fit. Okay. Well, and as far as the keyless chuck goes, there's a learning curve with that? Yeah, well, there was at first because the, all the instructions were in German. But uh, once I r realized what it was, it's a fantastic chuck. You, pu you put a, a bit in mm -hmm. and just rotate it left, and this inner ring clicks and that's it? That's it. Yeah. It's fantastic. I wish all my age, drills had this. Yeah, most people just grab it and then hit it in the clockwise position. Uh, that's what I did first, and it <laughs> about took, almost took all the, the skin off my hand. And I realized right. that this must not be the way. It, you mentioned the cord. Yeah. I was stunned when I took it out of the box because the cord is the length of a lariat. It, mm -hmm. It's a 16-foot cord. But since this is uh, rated as an industrial tool, mm -hmm. I really am, was really surprised that it has a, a permanently attached cord. Most industrial drills have a quick release cord, mm -hmm. so if you damage the cord, right. you can just snap it off and put a new cord on. So if you were to damage this cord in some manner, you'd have to take it to a repair shop to have it fixed. Okay, so that's maybe a heads up for fine. Yeah, I think so. Plus, uh, it has a feature that I was really surprised about. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm left-handed, yeah, and it's designed for a right-handed person. Really? Yeah. So do you think that should come through the other side as well, so you have the ability to go left or right? Yeah, either, either that or with most drills, there's a center point. Hmm. For, it's a common point for um, either hand. Okay. So if I was to use this drill and want to um, keep the trigger running or right. keep the motor running, I'd literally have to like go like this, mm -hmm. which is, I think, stupid. So okay. uh, maybe they have a left hand and right hand model. I uh, don't know. Yeah, well, I'll have to check on that. Um, and what about the trigger? Uh, the trigger's fine. It's, I thought it was a little sensitive, but once, it, it, you know, if you use tools a lot, you use it a couple of times and you get a feel for how it, uh, how it depresses. Mm -hmm. it, it, the operation of the tool is great. It's really a powerful motor. Okay. And so didn't uh, bog down for you? Did it run loud or was it a quiet tool? No, I, I'd say it is, as far as drills go, the noise is moderate. Mm -hmm. It wasn't really noticeable. Okay. So if somebody came to you and uh, just asked for your off-the-cuff recommendation, good, bad, or indifferent about the tool and wanting to buy it, what would you tell them? You know, if it wasn't for a couple of points, the trigger lock and uh, the cord not being uh, able to be replaced, I'd give it a perfect five. Okay. And so your recommendation would be if somebody wanted to buy it, if you're a right-handed person? Uh, yeah. You know, I think you can get around it. I mean, I, you're not keeping it on all the time. I mean, I would like to own this tool. It's a good tool. Mm -hmm. And I think that this tool will last forever. Okay. I think it's an industrial rated tool. It's got a 500 watt motor. It'll it drill from, uh, from zero to 1500 RPMs enough to drill through anything that you need to drill through. Okay. It's a, go it's a good tool. Okay. And you know what? It's your tool because that's the way we roll here at toolselect.com. For being a tool tester, we'd like to pass the tool from the manufacturer to you because we're an unbiased tool review website. We rely on the information of real people telling us what the tool was like. So tell all your friends about it. We are toolselect.com.